And now for section two of the London Loop, Bexley to Petswood. Now this section of the loop has, uh, as the guidebook describes it, a, the what is undoubtedly the prettiest section. I'm not walking on this now, but it's uh, going to be uh, apparently Crayford uh, Meadows when uh, I come to it. And the um, also I'm supposed to be able to see parakeets, so let's see if I can spot some of them. Now here's something you don't see very often in the UK, a field of sunflowers. Normally you get these in southern France. Well, so far I've seen two parakeets, but they're a bit fast to film, so I may capture some, or I may not. So the guidebook was right, there are parakeets around. Okay, yes, I see what he means by this is one of the prettiest sections on the loop. No, this football ground may not have the largest capacity in the world. I'll be up in the leagues of uh, Manchester United because it belongs to Cray Wanderers. And what is so special about Cray Wanderers? Well, Cray Wanderers was one of the first football clubs in the country and it was formed in 1860. There we are. Not bit bad, been around an awful long time. Now you are supposed to see a nice view over the valley from here, but obviously it's being obscured by the trees. However, it's a nice view over the uh, trees and the flower beds instead. We just have to imagine the valley. Yes, it would help if I actually did open the lock on the gate rather than trying to walk through the gate without lock on. And this that we're passing through is Willett Memorial Wood, which uh, of course is uh, in honour of uh, William Willett. And who's he? I hear you ask. Well, William Willett was res largely responsible for uh, the introduction of British summertime, which allows us the nice well, light evenings to be able to enjoy things. And in case you can't read it, it says that this woodland was saved in 1927 by Francis Joseph Frederick Elderman and was given to the National Trust in 1952 uh, by Robert and uh, Francesca Hall. Now ends section two of the London Loop.